Hello, I am Dr. Navanit from Aravinda Hospital, Coimbatore. Cases of FAKIA which needs pupiloplasty along with secondary eyewell implantation to prevent post-operative photophobia are Jondular and iris coloboma, traumatic cataract with midriasis, post-surgical sphincterotomies. This is a case of traumatic cataract where there is pre-existing more than 6 clock hours jonular dialysis. Superior incision made, side port given, capsule is stained with blue, keratom entry made and rexus is done around in 4 to 5 millimeters in size. And a CTR implanted. 11-0 CTR is used as it is more than 6 clock hours of zonular dialysis. By manually cataractus lens extracted out of the bag and tunnel and the remaining lens fragment first dialed into anterior chamber then extracted out of the tunnel. Now I will have implanted into sulcus. As we can see here, it's a very weak bag. I will not able to maintain its centration. So, a bent 90 straight proline needle passed through and through the iris below the haptic. Loop of the proline pulled out of the tunnel and the free end on other side pass through this slope four times and two ends of the proline pulled to form a knot over the haptic and the same procedure repeated on other side the bent straight 90 proline needle pass through and through the iris below the haptic loop of the proline free end pulled out of the tunnel and the free end and other side pass through this loop four times and the both ends pulled to form a knot over the haptic. Free ends on the both sides trimmed as close as possible to the knot. Visco washed and wound sutured. And this is a picture which shows traumatic zonular dialysis and mitriasis before surgery and both haptic and mitriatic pupil fixed with same knot. This is a case of zonular and iris coloboma with cataract after doing the rexis, 10-0 CTR implanted at the area of zonular dehiscence. Mild hydro dissection done. And the lens lifted up and FACO emulsified with a moderate FACO setting and the left out cortex aspirated with a coaxial mode. Now you can see the rex is got extended so the CTR is explanted 
out of the bag a three piece eye oil injected first into anterior chamber and one of the haptic dialed into the sulcus the other haptic brought near the zonular coloboma area a straight 90 proline needle first inserted into a 26 gauge needle and with the help of 26 gauge needle proline suture passed through and through the iris below the haptic loop of the the other end proline brought out through the main port free end on other side pass through the loop four times both ends pulled to form a knot over the haptic of the eye oil and here the position of optic can be adjusted by dialing the haptic wounds hydrated with the help of this procedure both zonular coloboma and iris coloboma can be fixed with one knot and take home messages it's a modified fourth row pupilloplasty which includes haptic in its knot with the help of this procedure both pupilloplasty and iris fixation of eye oil can be done with same knot thank you